What's up guys, Chasing Labour here with episode 181 of Welcome to Robson. It's the second leg of the semi-final of the Europa League against Leicester. We're 90 minutes away from a final, but we do have to win today. So we could book a place in our second final of the season. And we're still competing for the league title. The treble is still on. So, like, subscribe, ring the bell. I'll see you on the other side. So we've got through the week from hell. Uh, we we lost 3-2 to Wolves, who were 17th in the league. I rotated the entire side. Uh, we didn't really get into it until late on. It was not a great performance, and we managed to lose that one. So our chance to win the league against Manchester United at home has disappeared. We've beaten 3-1 anyway. Goals for Teshkel, Fish, and Bitale to make a 3-1 win happen at home. We now play Manchester City. And there are three league games left. We currently sit four points clear with a game in hand. And quick math says that we would win the league by beating City as long as Liverpool lose to Everton. I think, I think, I'll work it out. I'll work it out and we'll come back at the appropriate time anyway. Let's go look at the team right up for this second leg because that's what you're all here for. Obviously, Milan playing Bournemouth in Milan as well for the other place in the final. Spurs playing Burnley right now to see if they can go into second. I'm going to fire the opposition instructions in there because that's a good plan. And the lineup looks like this. We've got Garda and Go, Naglic, Walters, Rio and Andre. We've got Carlotto, Nielsen and Taylor. Fish, Burns and Christiansen starting up top. On the bench, Ankovic, Gray, Mercato, Alberto, Marais, Bourne, Saya, Emery, Jones, Salazar, Nian, Back and Teshkel. I am sort of thinking, why have I done that to myself? There was logic when I was doing this and then I did other things and I forgot. Uh, there probably should be less, uh, less drops. Let's leave Nielsen and Taylor there. Let's swap Christiansen for Teshkel. And I'll work it out from there. Because I feel we do need to have Teshkel up top. That's just common sense. Let's submit that team. And we should all be gravy. So here we are. All to play for. 90 minutes from our final. We should be booking our place in the final. Don't let me down is what I'm going to go for. I know that sounds like I'm asking too much of them. But honestly, it shouldn't be too much. We've played in a Europa League final in recent memory. We should be capable of doing it again. We're just going to get through 90 minutes at home against Leicester with a win. And that's the thing we're very capable of doing with this slightly rotated team. We're very capable of doing it. So hopefully we're about to see magic happen. We will find out. Um, Leicester's team, nothing too surprising there. Steven the player of the right to the look of up top. And I may see if we can sign him in the summer if the budget is there. Because he looks like the natural replacement for Enre Teshkel, who has turned 30. So we'll keep an eye on him. He could be joining us in the summer if we can find the funds. Either way, we're all lined up. We're looking good. We're ready to go. Leicester in the black. We're in our blue and white, as per usual. And uh, we're underway. So let's get this one done. Corner early on is our to encourage the boys. Taylor to take it. With a good corner, take it into the box, looking for Tesco, but finding Carlotto to Burns. Burns with a pop. Mervyn Burns puts us ahead after three and a half minutes. And now I look very silly yelling encouragement because I have, I'm have i encouraging a team that's gone ahead. Let's hope they take the encouragement and uh, go on, score more goals. This is definitely a uh, definitely a more, more exciting, more viable time for us to get through, I think. Uh, than the first game, we should be able to seal the deal at home. This Daniel Siebert fella seems to always be our ref for European games, which probably means he's in our pocket. Good stuff. Ball goes forward now, Andre to Burns. Burns gets tackled by Ka by Ramsey, the captain of Leicester City. King, back to Ramsey. Ramsey takes his time, back to King. King finds Del Rosso. Del Rosso forward for Svedberg. Svedberg for Preybrook. Braybrook having a round us finds Stevens. Stevens, as I said, as I said, is dangerous and could be a threat to us if he can find a good ball. Ramsey finds Spedberg, it puts it over the bar, and uh, we once again 
survive and keep our lead, which is the important thing. Maglitch having a throw. I'm going to yell praise now. That's a good plan. As Fish goes to Taylor. Taylor loses it to Ramsey. Bayer. Well, can we come on? Just get, a, get across this, boys. Someone's got to get a tackle in here. I don't care who, even. I <laughs> Keshkel makes King make a mistake. Now he's one on with the goalkeeper. Rounds him, puts it away. Emre Peshkel's 25th of the season makes it 3 1. And I think 15 minutes into the game, we are one goal away from being able to call this a place in the final, continue our race for the treble. The treble will be on. And, uh, well, then we have some big questions to ask because uh, we've only got the Champions League left to win at, uh, by the World Club Championship, I suppose. But, you know, only a couple of trophies left to win and we're going to have a chance to get at least one of them next season. Corner, Taylor to take it, finds Fish on the edge of the box. Fish with a pop for range. Oliver Fish not wanting to be left out of milestone goals. Tetrico gets his 25th. Fish gets his 20th. It's 3 0. This one is over. And, uh, well, the boys are barely putting any effort in at this stage as well, which is really terrifying. I am, uh, am going to have to maybe reconsider what I do with uh, subs because I think it's going to be a case of who do I protect for the game against City in a couple of days as Bayer puts the ball over the bar. Over the bar. And, uh, well, God, I got a bit of a whip on there to pick the ball up. Uh, yeah, we are we're, we're looking pretty strong. It is, we are just going to have to look to protect people for the sake of the City game as Andre gives the ball away to Bayer. King to Svedberg. Svedberg, not really tackled by Tashko. Martinez to King. King to Bayer. Bayer trying to turn his man. Del Rosso now on the ball. Plays it across to Albano Fernandez. Ball goes forward now to Josip. Josip running at us. But we've, we've got some intrepid defending not happening. Joey Stevens for his 21st of the season. That's been called offside. Beautiful. But Joey Stevens doesn't want to score against, against us. I know I get the king to score here, but he doesn't need to score here until he plays for us, which I, I'm desperate to make happen. As Taylor off the bar, Carlotto can't get ahead to a Josip. Fish to Naglish. Now Naglish finds Nielsen. Nielsen to Naglish. Naglish goes all the way back to Walters. Forward, Fish into the box. Fish with a pop. Fish makes it four. And he's got his 21st of the season. And Oliver Fish is very happy to celebrate that all day long with our fans because he knows he has just guaranteed our place in the final before the end of the first half. Are we going to go for another 7-0 win? We've had a couple this season. Are we going to make it seven in this semi-final of the Europa League. I guess we'll find out. Well, half time, I think we're going to say we're happy with the number of shots. Keep it up. Uh, there's nothing really to yell at or about to anyone. I was tempted to move Naglich up into central midfield. I've been trying to teach him how to play central midfield, and it feels like a really good, comfortable time to do that. But we'll see how things shake out once I make subs and who's looking tired and such like as they are running at us now. On the near side, Ramsey with a cross. Can we win this in the air? We can't, but luckily Garda is not in the mood to give up his clean sheet today. And, uh, well, corner for Leicester City. Bayer is the one that will take it. Can he score or can he create a goal here? Del Rosso gets ahead to us. Leon King gets ahead to it. And it's 4-1. The clean sheet is gone, unfortunately, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. We've still got a three-goal cushion. And I'm more than happy for us to uh, just kind of cruise this one home if we have to. Go straight into a kickoff highlight. Teshkel to Taylor. Taylor back to Grio. Grio going forward now to Andre. Andre will go down the line shortly looking for Burns. He's been tackled, fouled. Burns now with a ball back to Grio. Grio finds Tesh uh, Taylor. Taylor to Teshkel. Teshkel's through. Teshkel will shoot. Teshkel will score. 26 for the season. 5-1. Emre Teshkel did not come to play today. He came to win. And we are... We're just booking up. I think the final's in Lyon. I have a feeling the final is in Lyon in France. So uh, we're booking our tickets to go and play Milan in France. And we are feeling quite happy about it, Bryce. I think it's going to be time to start making some changes shortly. But otherwise, we're looking pretty strong. 
Grio now on the ball to Andre. Andre finds Burns. Burns turning his man back to Grio, who uh, has all the time. Carlotto. Carlotto finds Nielsen. Nielsen finds Teshkel. Doesn't find Teshkel. But Burns will pick him up. That was a terrible, terrible clearance. And Teshkel completes his hat trick. And that 27th goal of the season, it is at 6 1 before the hour mark here in the semi final of the Europa League. I don't know what Del Rosso was thinking. I think he actually picked up an injury. I think there was a little bit of an injury kind of thingy bob animation they were doing there. But even so, that is quite a tasty piece of finishing. Teshkel gets his hat trick. Joe, you know, I think what we're going to do, we'll give Teshkel. The, uh, the old hero send-off. That's a good idea because he does have three goals. He doesn't need to remain on the field. But let's, uh, let's send the old fishy boy up top. We can send back on as the uh, sub, I think. Yeah, let's send back on as the sub. Why not? He's been dying for some first-team football. And that uh, will give the hero send-off to Teshgal. Then when Fish gets his hat-trick, we'll give him a hero send-off. And we'll send Christiansen in. As Naglich finds Carlotto to Nielsen, back to Carlotto, to Taylor. Taylor forward to Burns. Burns to Carlotto. Carlotto to Taylor. Taylor, Nielsen. Nielsen goes back to Walters. I am still very much thinking about sending Naglich up into, into central midfield. When I have a moment as Walters goes with a chance to turn to Carlotto. Good stuff. Forward to Taylor. Taylor through to Burns. Mervyn Burns is through. Mervyn Burns cannot shoot today, apparently. Doesn't need a second goal, apparently, for his total. And we go again. And we go again straight to a free kick. Taylor with a shot it's off the crossbar. And, uh, well, we're just keeping the pressure up because why not? Throwing now with Ramsey for Leicester. Goes down the line, but we're, uh, we're going to keep challenging for it if we can. I have made some changes. Back is on the right wing. Uh, Naglich has moved into midfield. As Svedberg has a pop. And uh, Will Walter has moved to right back. Lee Bourne, the 16-year-old, has come on at a centre-half. I just felt like giving a run out. Uh, looks like Lucian Andre and uh, Mervyn Burns will be the next sub. And possibly Carlotto or Fish. Who knows? We'll see how that goes in a moment, I guess. Free kick, Kenneth Taylor takes it. Has another pop. Patton saves this one. And brings it down. More subs are afoot. Sydney Greer has moved to the left wing. I've shuffled so much stuff around. He hasn't played in the left wing in quite some time, but, you know, we'll give him a go as Bokan comes on a run at us. 6-1. Can't imagine what he's going to do in four minutes. Four tries to get a tackle in. He's cleared back, picks it up. We're going to go on the counter. We're not. We've got Sonia Emery on as a sub. We've got Marais on a left back. We've got Alberto on at centre-half, and uh, that is a pretty strong lineup of sub. Just thinking, can I use all five of my subs? I don't think I did. Doesn't matter now. Doesn't matter. I was so caught up in... Have I made enough subs? I had, in fact, made enough subs. But I didn't realise the final whistle had gone in. It's 6-1. We have found our way into the final. And we will face AC Milan in the Europa League final. The treble is still very, very much on. And the league title could be sealed in the next episode. We will find out. We're going to keep playing every league game between now and the trophy decider. Because that feels like the way to go. We'll keep the suspense going with four points clear. We've got a game in hand and we play City who sit in third with it. Also in a game in hand over the Liverpool next. Only City, I think, can take the title. I mean, it might be Spurs at a long shot, but only City can really take the title away from us. So we'll come back in the next episode with the City game. That feels like a fantastic plan but for now we are in the final of the Europa League we're in the final of the FA Cup the league title is days away we can all relax a little bit so thanks for us watching guys I have as always been chasing lane don't forget to like subscribe ring the bell share with your friends leave the comments down below all that good stuff three games left how many games do you think we need to win the title I'll let you decide in the comments down below in the meantime, though, thanks for watching. I have always been chasing labeling. Until next time, stay safe and uh, have a good one.